Hi, welcome back to another Easy Weaker question. Today we're going to solve the max depth of binary tree. This question is quite similar to the diameter of binary tree question that I just solved a few days ago. So if you could go watch that video after watching this, that would be amazing. So to solve this question, we're going to iterate through the tree. And for every node, we're going to find the length of its right child path and then its left child path. And we're going to take the maximum of those two, plus one, and then return that number. So that's going to help us find the depth, the maximum depth of the binary tree. So how do we solve this question? What exactly is a binary tree depth? So for example, this branch right here, all the way to the null nodes is a depth. And then this branch right here, all the way to the null nodes is also a depth. So we should find the maximum depth. Uh, it would be either this or this. Uh, both of those branches have a depth of three and then we should return any one of those. So uh, we're going to use DFS. Let's go through that. So we're <coughs> at this node. And then whenever we get to a null node, we return zero. So for here, we call the DFS algorithm on the left child path. So it goes here. We also call the DFS algorithm on the left child path. We come here, or oh, wait, we're at a null node, so we return zero. And then we go to the right child path. We're at a null node, so we also return zero. And then we take the maximum of those two, zero, zero. Uh, it's zero plus one. It's one, so this node of value nine returns one. And then we go to the um, right child path of three. And it also goes to the left, which also goes to the left and then returns zero. This also goes to the right, returns zero. And then we take the maximum of those two plus one, so that's one. And then we go to the right child path of 20. All it goes to the left, returns zero. Out a null node, we also go to the left, returns zero. Sorry, we also go to the right, null node, returns zero. And then we move back up to seven, and then take the maximum of its left and right children paths all of that zero plus one, that's one, so seven returns one. And then we get back up to the recursive tree up to 20. And now at 20, we have the length of its right child path and its left child path. And then we should find the maximum of those. Uh, for this, they're both the same length. So we take one of them plus one, uh, considering 20 is one node above them. So one plus one, that's two. So 20 returns two. And then we get up to the recursive call all the way to three. And then for three, we have the length of its left child path and then its right child path. And then we take the maximum of those two, which is two plus one, considering three is one node above. So two plus one, that's three. So three returns three. So this is the maximum depth of the binary tree. And then we return this. So that's it. That's, that's how you solve this question. Uh, it's quite similar to the binary tree diameter question. And uh, yeah, go check it out. So what's the time and space complexity of this algorithm? Well, for time complexity, uh, we're going through all the nodes in the binary tree, so that's in O of n time. So time complexity is O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. And then for space complexity, we're going as deep, we're using depth first search to go as deep as the deepest node. So it's an O of d space, O of d for depth. We're gonna have at most d calls on the call stack, d frames on the call stack. So space complexity is O of d. So that's it for this question. Let's dive right into the code. Okay, so first let's take care of a base case. That's if the root node is null. So if root is equal to null, and then we just return zero. And then we find the length of the left child path and then the right child path. So I'm gonna say int left, we call the recursive max depth function. And then we pass in root.left. Do the same thing for the right and right is equal to max depth of root dot right and then for this node we just have to return well, the maximum of its left child path and then its right child path plus one so that's pretty much it let's run this and see what happens now cool i'll uh, submit Oh cool, it's successful and it's really fast. So that's how you solve this question. I'm gonna put a lot more comments on the code that I'll upload on GitHub. So uh, that's it for this question. That's how you solve the max depth of a binary tree. 
If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, comment down below if you have something to say, I'll smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and share this video around the community, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!